Hey all, and thanks for joining us on tonight's Paranormal Pit Stop, which will have us exploring an infamous former jail located off of Nicholas Street in Ottawa, Canada, commonly referred to as the Nicholas Street or Carleton County Jail, offering overnight stay experiences to any with an interest, and purported to hold a range of ghostly manifestations tied to its tumultuous past. Are you prepared to brave the history and hauntings of the Hosteling International Ottawa Jail Hostel? Historically, in 1842, the basement of Ottawa's new courthouse, which was constructed atop land donated by prominent Ottawan citizen Nicholas Sparks, was converted for temporary utilization as a lockup. However, following years of criticism by locals, in 1862 the Nicholas Street Jail would be completed adjacent to the courthouse, with a tunnel connecting the two properties, and would operate as the city's primary jail for over a century. The old holding would bear witness to its final execution on March 27th of 1946, being the hanging of Eugene Larman, who'd been convicted of killing a prominent local detective. And the jail would remain in use until 1972, when it was closed on the grounds that it was outdated and ineffective, with remaining prisoners and a handful of staff members being transferred to the more modernized Ottawa Carleton Regional Detention Center based out of Blackburn Hamlet. Following its closure, the old jail was purchased by Hosteling International, who would would convert the building for the purpose of accommodating guests in a more authentic jail environment while keeping the original structure intact. And on August 2nd of 1973, the hostel would open its doors to travelers for the first time and would be graced by a visit from Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh. Through the 1980s, a slew of renovations and refurbs were launched on the property, with particular focus spent on lighting, heating, ventilation, and of course, on plumbing. Its reputation was further bolstered when it was featured in 2002 on the second episode of the Canadian television series Mystery Hunters, and again in 2005 on the series The Girly Ghost Hunters, which aired on the Space Channel. In 2009, Mug Shots, the hostel's beloved bar, was established, and in 2011, the courtyard was converted into an outdoor bar for warm weather. The Hosteling International Ottawa Jail Hostel remains open into the present and has been further refurbed to allow for more comfortable stays, with its top floor, which previously served as death row, restored to original condition and accommodating regular tours, and the gallows still fully functional. While the jail was still in operation, it was recognized for its inhumane conditions. Prisoners, which consisted of men, women, and children, were all packed between 60 small cells, 30 slightly larger cells, and six solitary confinement cells randomly, and the populace ranged from minor offenders to murderers to the mentally ill. Through the day, inmates were given little to do, with those lucky enough to score work duty usually assigned to clearing snow or chopping wood, and all additional time spent within tiny, unsanitary cells lacking ventilation, heat, light, and even toilets. Many sent to the Nicholas Street Jail were never seen alive again. Chillingly, modern excavations of the site have yielded unmarked graves, a number of which lie right where they were discovered, and it's now believed paranormal activity within the lockup is tied to both its dark past and the improper care of countless human remains, with both staff and guests reporting disembodied footsteps and voices from empty spaces, eerie knocking sounds from within walls, doors that open and close on their own, and instances of objects moving or even flying across rooms spontaneously. The solitary confinement space, more commonly dubbed the hole, is rumored to be filled with a palpable, ominous energy that leaves visitors feeling in despair. Near the gallows, several have told of strange scratching, chopping, and dragging noises from the execution chamber. And in the lounge, which formerly held women and children, disembodied voices and the sounds of children crying and screaming are often heard. Also reported throughout the Hosteling International Ottawa Jail Hostel is an unseen, aggressive presence that's been known to oog out visitors and has even grabbed, hit, and scratched the living. Lastly, a more popular story tells of the hanging of Patrick J. Whalen on February 11th of 1869 as justice for his part in the assassination of Thomas Darcy McGee. It's told Whalen was promised a burial at his family plot, but instead was interred unceremoniously in the yard, resulting in his spirit's unrest. His manifestation has been known to appear at the ends of guests' beds and within his old death row cell, seemingly serving his sentence into eternity. Thanks for tuning in for this Paranormal Pit Stop. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Good night.